Hello everyone. This show has been pre-recorded on Monday, uh, which was a holiday in the United States, Memorial Day, um, around noon. And it's going to air on Friday uh, while I'm on vacation, right? Um, that said, uh, I provide content every day and um, I only play when I'm recording or live on YouTube, mostly live on YouTube, right? I don't go on vacation that often. So if you guys want to get notified when I start streaming, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. The bell icon is what gives you those notifications 100%. The subscription does not. However, by subscribing, you are helping me because I don't get paid by YouTube until I have 8,000 subscribers. So still a long ways to go. We also have a Discord if you know what it is and like to use it. Link to the Discord is on my website, in the video description and on my YouTube channel. Um, that's it. The game has loaded. Let's get into the game. All right, I see the beautiful game here. We are ready to play. So, um, I had actually an insight that um, if we fill, if we clone research items and we put them directly into research chambers, what we really do is we do work to maintain a certain level of research. So currently we have 8,200 uh, bytes per minute, right? However, if we do this here, we um, invest time to build an infrastructure that uh, will add to an existing infrastructure that will continue to make us bytes. So that is the way to do it. Uh, now that's it. They should fill up here pretty soon, let me see. Yeah, the advantage of this is you basically make stuff sticky feet. Basically make stuff to research um, out of thin air that is then being um, researched. So it's it's a very simple setup, so to say, right? It's a very simple setup. Uh, it it can't break like the other setup that we are having that is I think technically more challenging. And this setup here uh, will continue to make bytes. Now we are down to 7,400. Uh, but as the, the uh, atmospheric condensers create helium, um, it will be able to fill those, those um, research chambers. So a couple of things. Uh, we need to expand the base here a little bit, as always. Okay, let's make this a little bit bigger in this direction. Yeah, you guys see the effect of the terrain is important. And here it is okay that the research chambers are empty because eventually they will be filled. We have some room here too that we can utilize. Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. You know, one thing is for sure that the people at System Era don't play the game like we do. One thing is for sure. Because a single developer spending some time playing the game would discover that this is not acceptable. Might as well do a little bit on the back as well. And 
hear the sound of the research chamber finishing, it's okay. That's what they're supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, let's see. How much uh, resin do you need? One. Fantastic. Now we are up to 7,800. That's good. We may have to move this thing here again. But they're making more room here for us. Oh my goodness. That doesn't, doesn't work. Good. Um, all right, let's get a couple of things. I need more of these. Um, I want to say three. Three more, four more, something like that. Let's make a couple of them. Just finished breakfast. I had a, a big portobello mushroom, right? Was like a steak. Did I click on the wrong planet? I did. I think that was my base up there. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, this is still working. So there is a bug in multiplayer where the timing doesn't stand and it it breaks stuff. So let's make a bunch of these.
using that many for now, it's okay. Good. I would have expected five. This is distinctly four. Who's this? Some sensors. What is this? What can we be that we might be able to use? Battery sensor? No. Okay, this is fine. Let's, let's get that thing. I don't know why that game is so fidgety. I don't think it has to be fidgety, it just is. Well, we need to clone more items, so that's just the start here. A trucks. Thankfully, it doesn't have a wound, so... Can't miss click. One of those. Set it up in the back here. But then the idea of this is that the time that we spend is to incrementally add more bytes instead of just maintaining bytes. That makes sense. They keep making power. They keep making um, helium. So that I have lengthwise extendability. Hopefully this auto arm can't give to this platform. Let's see. I don't think it can, but who knows? This seems to be a little bit. I think the research chambers are ultimately tilted. So let's get uh, two more. Nope. 
yeah, for this, the unlimited unlimited title seed is imperative. Right, to have this astronium to hydrazine is super important. If you're going to do this here a lot. Good. See, the camera doesn't zoom out. I don't know why. Atrox. So I decided to make this show a little bit longer. And the next one that I'm going to record for Saturday as well. Maybe an hour, an hour and a half, depending on how much time I have. Yesterday, um, you know, we had plans to do lots of different things. The Memorial Day is uh, not so many plans. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to expand this here as well. Hold on. Yeah, and here the research chamber is finishing. That's the thing. That's perfectly normal. I could use the white mod, but the white mod also has a deeper uh, soil dep deposit. So it, it just goes deeper in general. It's sort of like a hemisphere. So I need more soil to use the white mod. Then I was actually dreaming, doing something specific. Uh, and what I did is I put the research changes. And let me see. This thing can be going here. You know that we have a little bit expanded. Maybe I should get the battery for this. And then we can set up more here. Like so. It's really hard to position things in the room. I wish there would be more of a to turn on a snap to grid functionality. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we need a battery here. Otherwise, we are just in the dark. Okay, 
I think now I can use this thing. Do I need to refill? Uh, maybe one more trip. I need to bring a battery. Good. Battery. And we should have an extra one here. Good. And then I need to clone. Not this one here. I need to clone this guy. I need to clone. Well, for now, let's clone this guy a bunch of times. These parts are from Glacier. So this show will air on Friday while I'm out on vacation. Okay. You have the battery? You have the battery? Okay. The trucks. Got lucky there. Step one battery goes up. Oh, yeah. Good. Then good. 
Good. Why does the game have to be that fidgety? I don't think it's actually necessary. See, there's all this fidgetiness. But no, I need to make a couple auto arms, music chambers, and that kind of stuff. Yeah, this is good. How many bytes are we? 9,000? Good. Good. Uh, silver? Hold on. No, no, no. Oh, you piece of. And I don't have my jetpack in the shoulder. How many auto arms do we need? I want to say five. Oh, we need more. Right. Do you have any other scrap here? No, 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 no. It will be power intensive what we are doing, but power we can make. Jesus Christ, this game is garbage, garbage. Eight. One of my. Okay. Sorry. So you do that. 
Boom. It's a weird noise. Let's deliver this because we are making helium. And then we build new stuff. Trucks. What? Let's see, of Would it be aesthetically more pleasing if you do it like so? I think it's a little bit less industrial looking this way. Now we need six platforms and six research chambers. So long. Careful not to miss it. Did I miss it? Was it up there? Right, refueling. Green, green. Perfect. Mm -hmm. uh, I need one of these ones here. Or maybe I need to send this off. 
I don't want to lose another. Almost. Why can't I touch it? I don't know what I mean. So we need, this is a research chamber, this is the platform, we need uh, to clone it six times, so that means seven packages need to be on it. These do we have? Look quite a few. This is full, right? Yeah. So we have seven right now. Why does the game have to be so fidgety? What? What? Can we do something to make it less fidgety? This is for the But it should be seven. Do I need to set you off here again? Some see the top fifty that that thing is like I mean maybe if when kids are playing the game they don't notice that but adults will notice but it's super fidgety. Probably I would like to to be this way, but. So I'm targeting about an hour for the show.
And it looks is pretty dark, so this is why I need to some light here so you guys can see something. Okay, how much power do we have? Let's break out the calculator. So we are having eight times twelve times four. It's three hundred and eighty-four power. And we are going to need uh this is sixty-nine times six. Can I do this here? On this POS? Can I do brackets? Okay, yeah. Minus bracket. Sixty-nine times six. Oops. Sixty-nine times six. Oh, it's more. It's more. So I don't need to worry about power at some point. But I need some uh, resinium. I thought there was some here somewhere. Uh, I do need my jetpack though to be able to get back up. Stop it. Okay. Let's put this printer here. Sticky hoverboard. I don't know if you guys saw that. Auto on. A little loud, isn't it?
Gut. This is a simpler setup. It needs a ton of power, but it's a much simpler setup. You're being slowed down, but that's a bit. Being slowed down, but that's a bit. Good. So this is how this looks like. So we need to make more power, as far as I can tell. Because this is. See, now we are at 10,000. We need a little bit more power. Let's work on that. Silver. We need to clone RTGs. How are we looking? Actually, the snail needs feeding. Anything growing here? Okay. We need to clone RTGs. Lots of them. Let's take this one. Clone this. Um, what are we doing here? Why are you not printing? Right? Why are you not printing? One, two, three, four. Six. One. Two. Three. Oh, 
funny. Six. Seven would be a cost for much over like a G-Bag. Perfect go. Good. I mentioned that why is the game so fiddly? Does it really have to be so fiddly? Oh, hold on. Disable, disable. Oh, okay. Good. Easy. Good. 
think we would need more lights too, to be honest. I think now our power problem should be solved. I think you have a word. It's going to get me really. I got hurt somehow. You are good. Let's see how long was I going? Fifty seven minutes. I think this is good. We would need more um, lights, though, unfortunately. Right, because we can only see this side of the... I need to take a screenshot anyways. Oh yeah, this isn't active. Why is this so difficult? Why is this such a little little? Someone explain. Um, waiting for some light and for the research chambers to be filled. I think uh, from what I'm seeing is that it creates about a helium by the time it, it researches it. So maybe two and a half minutes for one helium. See, now this one activates. Could you look over there? Something like so. Okay. 
right, we're going to continue that. Um, tomorrow, I'm just going to go to sleep here. And uh, what I will do is I will do a save and quit to main menu. All right, everyone. Uh, so that's that's my philosophy, right? That um, if we uh, clone research items and put them into research chambers, we are sort of working to um, upkeep a certain set of research, right? If you do the um, helium research, the time that we spend is an incremental add to our bytes per minute, right? So that is what I want to pursue. Um, thanks so much for watching. I uh, stream every day and I only play on live stream. So if you guys want to get notified when I start streaming, please subscribe and hit that bell icon. The bell icon here, this one, is what gives you the notifications 100%. The subscription does not. However, by subscribing, you are helping me because I don't get paid by YouTube until I have a thousand subscribers. Um, we also have a Discord, if you know what it is and like to use it, link is on this website, uh, in my video description, and on my YouTube channel. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.